In this video, you're going to learn how to view STL files from Explorer. Okay, so it's been a little while since I last posted the video, about two weeks. I thought I'd come back with a really useful video. So what you want to do is you want to click on installation over here uh, and you can find the installation um, here. So Marlin 3D Printer Tool, latest version, Marlin 3D Printer Tool .msi. This is the latest installer. So you want to uh, download this installer, download it to your desktop or wherever you want to run it. Um, run the program, you'll have this little thing here. You just want to accept blah, blah, blah. Mine are 3D printer tool uh, and 3D thumbnail extension. Now you don't have to have this installed as well, but um, you can. Uh, it's a very small tool anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so you install the Marlin 3D printer tool uh, it will go through various things. Uh, it might ask you for admin permission, as it just did for me. Um, and then once it's done, it'll ask you if you wanted to load up Marlin 3D Prints tool. Okay, now, now that the program is installed, you want to go to your C drive, you want to go to program files, and then you want to find um, what was this program called? Marlin. Oh, that's not the wrong. Mar Marlin 3D Prints tool. And then you want to find Marlin 3D Prints Tool STL configuration here. So you double click that. It'll ask you for the confirmation all that kind of stuff. And then the program will load. It's in the, it loads up on the other window. Now we have this here. It says install and register STL thumbnail. Color on STL. Uninstall and unregister. Restart Windows File Explorer. STL Viewer preferred STL Viewer. So what you can do is just press install and register STL thumbnails. That does this. It says registration done with register extension. That's great. If you want to change the color of the STL files, oh. If you want to change the color of the STL files, you can click here and you can choose whatever color you want. I like the green one. So we want to do that. We want to press that again. Um, you then click um, STL viewer is now the STL viewer, is now the preferred STL viewer. So that's great. So now what you want to do is just go to a place where you would have these types of things. And if you click on them, you can see the uh, actual STL file and what it is in the preview area. So there we go. And potentially it should open up in STL viewer, but I'm not really, I'm not really sure what this one's like. Okay. Yeah. It opens up in this program here. So you can actually turn it around. So uh, that is my quick tip for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter at Nick Before 2 and thanks for watching.